All right, these are my VR settings. Everything's pretty standard, so for, I fly helicopters, so I have this set at medium. When I'm in VR, when I'm making those 4K videos, I usually use my LG screen, so I don't have the option right now because I'm on my ultra wide, but um, that's the only thing that might change for me is like uh, when I'm on my other screen. This one I have it at 4x, but sometimes I'll drop it. I used to have it at 2x, but it seems to be working out pretty well at 4x lately. I've seen some people run this at 16. Pretty low radius. I've seen some people jack this up. So that way you can you load more up front, but then the CPU does less when you're actually trying to play. So this is a personal sort of thing. I guess if you have a slow hard drive, you should leave this like you might want to have this really low. But for me, I'm actually going to do that. Now okay, so this is VR Perf Kit. I'll try and put the link in the description. But this is something you're going to want to improve VR performance. And this is the main thing that I do is I come in here and like once you now you don't need all these files this is for developers. What you're going to do is as a user, you just need it's only going to be two files that you're going to put in your DCS installation. And these and the only file you're going to probably want to modify, of course, is this YAML file. That's the only file you can modify. And this YAML file, what I do is I actually render scale at one. I don't let it upscale because so basically I'm effectively just turning off upscaling. You just set like, at least in my case, I just disable it. Currently I'm doing defaults. But you, and so, cause this is really the main benefit for me that I'm getting from this performance toolkit is the, I can't really pronounce it, but it's foveated rendering. So basically it's rendering out and like as a ring, well, it describes it. So ima imagine like a circle area and you'll notice on the edges, it gets pixelated, but that's, but that's fine because you're not really looking at that at the very edges of your screen when you're in VR at least I've never had a problem with this and I don't even notice it unless I look back at my video and then I can see it's pixelated at the edges so and you can uh, configure it in runtime so you can try and get everything just the way you want it but I I normally just tweak the numbers well actually I'm running with defaults anyways and there was one other thing let's see oculus With Oculus, I actually have a synchronous space warp disabled. Well, normally I try and go for this one. So, yeah, force 45 FPS. That's what I, that's the only change I made in here. But I've seen other videos where they actually disable other things or whatever I never had a reason to 